Hello, in this video we'll tell you about the updated animation and camera functionality. The animation tab was completely reworked to allow for much more convenient scene animation management. To begin with, let's add some of animations to the timeline. All available animations of selected model are in the model animation section. As in previous versions, there are three play modes, once, loop, stretch. For idle animation, let's select a loop mode to repeat it until the end of video. In the timeline section, you can manage the tracks. You can move it with the mouse horizontally to change time offset or vertically to set the priority relative to each other. The lowest track overrides all the rest. Another anticipated change is the new camera trajectory and updated view slots. Let's set up several view slots around the model. In order to switch between them, you can use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus 1, 2, and so on. And as you may have noticed, there are several new buttons next to the view slot. For example, you can use this one to update slot with the current camera and scene state. In previous versions, you had to delete the view slot and add a new one, but now you just need to click here. Let's take a closer look on new camera trajectory feature. This button adds a keyframe to your camera path. Let's add them all and go back to animation tab. The view slots have appeared in camera path section. Camera path is visualized with a green line in main view. Each point on the line corresponds to a frame that will be rendered. If the frame rate or duration of keyframes changes, the number of points will also change. By the way, duration of the keyframe is the time that moving from previous keyframe to the current one will take for the camera. Let's adjust it to the length of our animation. If you want the camera to smoothly start or finish its turn, there are buttons easy and an easy out. All these changes can be observed on the green line visualizing the camera path. For convenience, you can change keyframe duration directly on timeline. Let's preview the result and save it as a video. Camera trajectory feature can also be used to render view slots to images. Looking at the trajectory helper line, it is easy to understand how to optimize the camera path for rendering static frames. To do this, reduce the frame path to 1 and set the duration to 1 second. Now it is clear that we have only 3 keyframes left and there are no unnecessary intermediate ones. You can see that instead of the 3 frames that we need, only 2 were displayed. That's because looped video mode is enabled, and it doesn't render the last frame. This feature does not allow looped videos to show the same image two times, so you need to switch to unlooped video. Now everything works as it should. In addition to camera position and its parameters, it is now possible to attach visibility of objects to the view slot. Let's hide the tube in the last frame. We'll save the result as separate images since we don't need a video this time. There is another great use of camera keyframes. Since not only the camera position is saved, but also its parameters, you can use the do feature to get beautiful transitions. Let's change depth of field settings and add a keyframe. By repeating this a couple more times we get a nice doof transition effect. Thanks for watching, see you in the next videos.